Let's work on prompts. Here is a list of items that are having a delete icon on them. When I click on a delete icon, I would like to prompt the user to make a confirmation whether they want to delete the item or not. So let's do that. Here we have the preview of the screen and I've already prepared inside the state a property that's gonna hold the ID of the item that is about to be deleted. We are gonna leverage that to make a prompt. So here I'm gonna use the property which value is gonna be set to the item that is about to be deleted. And when that property is set, then we are prompting the user to confirm that they want to delete the item. When it comes to the confirmation prompt, we would like to be able to customize its title and the message and also the actions. So this is the basic setup of the confirmation prompt that I would like to have. Now this confirmation prompt does not exist, so I'm gonna go ahead and create it. Now this is gonna be reusable, so let's pull it out from this file and make it a standalone function into its own file. As always, let's start off by creating a preview for this confirmation prompt. In the preview, I would like to put the confirmation prompt inside a box so that I'm gonna give it a little bit of a space around it and I'll be able to see how it's gonna look on the background. Right now, the preview is empty because we are not having anything in the confirmation prompt function. Now let's go ahead and fill out this. As always, first we are gonna add a modifier here. Next, we are gonna make an alert dialog. We are going to pass down the modifier and we are going to opt in into the experimental APIs. Now on dismiss request is being called when the user tries to dismiss the alert dialog. And when that happens, we are going to call the on cancel. Next, let's see what we are going to have inside this alert dialog. We are going to start off by making a surface that will allow us to put correct colors, tonal elevation and shape. Next, we would like to add title, message and actions in this alert dialog. And since we want them to be one below another one, we are going to leverage a column. We are going to align the items inside this column in the middle and we are going to space them by 24 dPs. Now that we have the title and the message, let's add a row where we are going to add the actions. We are going to align the items inside this row in the center. And as we can see in the preview, only one of them is being shown. So we would need to split this spacing to fit both. And one way to do that is by playing with the weight. We are going to split the spacing equally. Now we can see both actions and we need to also add a little bit of space between them. And that looks quite nice. Now, as we can see in the dark mode, the text is not visible and also the styling is a little bit weird. So let's fix that next. To do those fixes, we are going to apply styles and colors from our team. Now we have the title looking good, let's apply the same to the message. And now we have a nice looking alert dialog. Now the last thing that we would like to use string resources for the labels of the actions, we would also like to make them customizable. So we are going to pass them as arguments into the confirmation prompt function and we are going to apply defaults that are coming from the string resources. So whoever is using this function will be able to use the defaults or supply different ones as they need. Now that we are using the strings from the string resources, let's add them as default arguments in the function. As we can see, whoever is using the confirmation prompt function can supply their own confirm text and cancel text, or they can choose to use the default ones that are coming from the string resources. We are pretty much done with the confirmation prompt. Let's see it in action. Back to our application. Now when I click on the delete icon, I can see the confirmation prompt. I can choose to dismiss it by clicking outside of it or on the buttons. Now when I confirm the deleting, the card is not going to be deleted because we are not able to delete these cards that are coming from the system itself. And the system is giving us an error for that, but we are not presenting it. Luckily, we already have that composable, so we are going to just reuse it here. Back to the application, if I try to delete and confirm the deleting, we are going to receive an error saying that we cannot proceed with this action. That's it, we have the prompts ready. The final thing would be to use the string resources for title and message here instead of hard coding the strings. And this time for confirmed text, we are not gonna use the default one, rather a text that is more suitable for this case here. And as we can see inside the application, the text changed to delete, which tells the user what's gonna happen when they press that button. Hope you find this useful. <music>